imagine bears, and you might have to dodge some deer out there on the road with all that fog. Might be hard to see. Yeah, definitely. This is the time of year that they start to show mm. up and run across the yep. uh, the roadway. If you're driving through Fairmount Park, that kind of thing. So watch out for that. You know, they are. This is that time of year. They will be out there. But uh, I want to start things off by taking you out to the Atlantic. We are still in the midst of the the height of the hurricane season. It will very gradually start to drop off with every passing week here. But we have three separate disturbances that we're watching. We do have Hurricane Jose still a category one storm still essentially in the same location, but we also have two other areas of showers and storms that bear monitoring here. This one has about a 40% chance to develop over the next five days, and this one just coming off of the coast of Africa has a lower chance at about 30%. But regardless, they both appear as though they're going to be making a westward migration and they'll need to be watched in time. The next name on the list, by the way, all right, so we had Katya, now it would be Lee. That would be the next name on the list if any of these end up actually becoming a named system. So storm scan, here's a different view for you on the satellite of Jose. It's still well off to the southeast of the United States coastline, but with time that is going to make a right hand turn go to the north and we'll need to monitor it for some indirect impacts here. In the meantime, we have Irma's moisture to contend with for today and even into tomorrow. Since it's all just sort of drifting through, there's no real force to shove this out of here. So it's taking its sweet old time and you will have to deal with granted scattered showers throughout the day, but showers nonetheless that could be drenching if they hit you. So I'd walk out the door with the umbrella just to be on the safe side. The high hits 81 degrees and tonight will drop down to a mild and muggy 66 with again some showers around and then they're still hit and miss the showers into tomorrow. Now Saturday and Sunday maybe you end up with a spotty shower or a thunderstorm mainly PM hours, but it really looks like a very summer like weekend in the maybe in the mid 80s for both days. Come Monday, they're still in the 80s, but it looks like it'll stay dry.